Well, good afternoon. It's 12.51 p.m. Seattle time from Mount Vernon, Washington. This is Shawnee. Well, as you know, things in the beat of life go on. I admire many vloggers um, from where I'm sitting. I, I see hundreds, thousands a week, it feels like. I want to make special mention to a few on uh, VH, that would be vlogger heads, um, who I call the mothership of all the small sites in on the internet. It feels like vlogger heads was the first place I ever landed that was privately owned vlogging. And um, because of that, of course, I hold near and dear to my heart. Um, and I am very, very um, respectful of her. Uh, she is, uh, I call her a she, I don't know, it could be he, but put gender on everything, right? <laughs> the uh, site has taken many turns of itself as of its life. It is, um, starts out young and spry and full of spit and vinegar and, uh, and then it, it mellows with time. It ages. Uh, it's not a bad thing. It just it happens. But this site has not yet died, nor is it yet dead. It is far from dead. <laughs> so we move on first to say hello to Lothly Daddy. Hi. Steve, you brought many, many hours of music, love, heartache, health, beginning of love, and the right of change. I have to say that you are probably a vlogger that uh, comes from the soul. It's hard to find vloggers anymore that want to be from the soul. Another vlogger, which is really an interesting vlogger, is Rab. He's over in Ireland. Hi, Rab. Watched his wife had children. Watched Rab have a job. Not have a job, have a band, not have a band. But I've always known that Rab will always be okay because you are. You survive. And you're a heck of a good spokesperson. Um, you're great on vlogging, but you're also a professional entertainer. So, um, I ex just, just good. You know, I don't think you give yourself enough time um, to sit back and really look at you. You're really good. And yeah, I understand you're missing work. I understand. You've done it your whole life. You're a hard person. You're a hard worker. Not a hard person is in me. You're not far from it. But I think you understand what I'm saying. If not, just ask. <laughs> Another one, of course, is, um, oh gosh, my dear friend, uh, he is sick again, and that would be, you know, Dave Nicholson. Dave Nicholson, um, I cannot believe this, 1,313 blogs. That's a blog, a vlog daily. For 1,313 days. His tenacity alone keeps me watching. He's ever a faithful friend and uh, never forgets me, ever. And I have to thank him for that. I don't have to. I want to. Thank you, Dave. Um... Someday I'm going to make it out to Moose Jaw, and I want to see Saskatchewan anyway. And I need to get out there and see Suja. And I know she's not your way. She's quite far away from you. But someday, I hope, I'll see you both. It's a beautiful area. I know that for, for sure. That's, I'm moving around because I'm in a lot of pain. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Oh, my God. Ah. Oh. 
I should just call it what it is, vlogging from bed. <laughs> Let's do it that way. Vlogging from bed. Um, Victoria is another one uh, who shows honesty and a great perspective on politics and religion and things that go bump in the night. She has an honest uh, opinion and self-expression. I, I enjoy listening to her. She's incredibly articulate. Um, I just I really like her. Uh, I miss <laughs> I miss her and uh, Vital Finds is my other favorite. Uh, going back and forth about politics, the polar opposites of each other, um, and of course, I mean. If you, get, if you get anybody involved in politics, there's going to be some incredibly high, genuine emotion <laughs> that comes from that. Uh, though none of us are as bad as what we've seen on uh, the GOP this year, who have managed to insult each other to the ground. Um, I'm, I'm fascinated by it. <laughs> I think actually it's more of a, uh, why am I watching the GOP this year? It, there's, you know, you always like to know who you're up against when you're in the middle of a, a presidential election year. And uh, <laughs> so far, um, I have myself discovered, and this is just, of course, an opinion, that the GOP has been taken over by a madman. <laughs> we need Arnold Schwarzenegger to take him out. <laughs> it's really bad. I, uh, I, I've never seen such insulting, creepy, bigoted ways as I have seen from a quote-unquote GOP member. He can't belong to the GOP. I mean, I I know some horrible Republicans, but I know some really good ones, too. And this guy can't be a Republican. He's got to be sent from Mars or hell. I don't know which. But, of course, I'm talking about Trump. But, again, it's all an opinion. And uh, we're a dime a dozen as far as opinions go, right? Right? Um... People I'm mentioning, uh, of course, they, you know, vlog or blog steadily or steady or not so steady. It depends on what's going on in their life. Um, I have to mention, you know, that, um, of course, another one of my favorite is the great Scotsman. Uh, he, uh, he has brought lots of smiles to my face. And um, it has given me perspective, especially seeing pictures of his daughter and his life. Um, it's it's a unique thing, and William T. is that he uh, extremely expressive down to the core soul real and a lot of painful things but a lot of happy things too and you see the love in his heart that goes out to his his daughters um daughter <laughs> I I've been through many different um, periods of my life with different um, relationships from all sorts of types of people, from my children to my family, yeah. my parents, etc. And I have found that life is what brings us here. It helps us sort. It keeps us going keeps us up and gets us healed again we heal ourselves but it does heal it helps to talk
I know there's many more of you out there. Um, there's Phil. Hi, Phil. Our artist, local artist. We have lots of local artists, actually. That's our whole life around here is the arts. And so um, between musicians, writers, painters, uh, activists, actors, we have them all. We always will. I am um, wish I could t make time stand still just for a little bit. Stop the aging process. <laughs> and I wish that I could make everybody's dreams come true. That is my dog barking. Suzette, the Great Dane. Anyway, now that she's going to scream at the camera, <laughs> she's basically saying she wants her blanket over her head because the wind's blowing, so she doesn't like that. Um, anyway, I, I wanted to say good morning to you and, um, and let you know that things are in fact pretty good time that's all it was it was just time oh i look really crappy without makeup in the morning <laughs> actually i don't like anymore that's right i just look crappy yeah. <laughs> shout out to liz my friend hello and miss you and um god Thank you to Sid. Thank you to Marcel. Thank you, Tommy, SST, you know, for keeping the walls up. Thank you. Thank you to my partner in mod crime. Not any crime going on. Bunyip. Put up a wanted sign. As far as banners go, there's some odd things going on with the banners that we've tried putting up there. Don't know what's going on, but if anybody can help Bun Hadoo, I'm not very um, good technically um, with uh, banners or backgrounds, as we know. Um, but I mean, I am working strongly on getting better. I hope I get better. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that's my Sunday post, and I have to mention to my f other favorite, most favorite mod, David. Hope things are well. You're quiet. I know you're busy. I know things in life take, take us just to silence, but you are such a lovable guy. And you're a great mod. Thank you for your passing the the key a few months back. Love you all. Goodbye. <laughs>